Right, in this video, I'm going to put one of these springs back onto the caliper. And there's all the scratch marks where I made many attempts of not to where it's cast iron. Now, the two guide pins, I've kind of put them in already, so the caliper's in. So what I would normally do to take this type thing apart is to undo them, take the guide pins out, if I was going to change the uh, brake pads, then use a pair of long nose pliers to wedge under there one end and then it would just kind of wedge out but they put them back in slightly not the reverse of removal so put the pins back in not completely tight mostly tight and then put a bit, make sure you've got a bit of tape that should have been there when you was taking it out a bit of tape there so it doesn't fly off and disappear put the top one into the hole guide the push it fairly well in push the um, spring top catch area against there now once you've got that you will need and you should have done this if you watched one of my previous videos one of these because this is where you, a pair of long nose plies will not do you won't be able to grip it you won't be able to shove it in there won't be enough force to, that you can produce so, move my white tape out of the way. And this white tape is so that it doesn't fly off the Timbuktu when it springs away. So, that we run out the top ones in, push the bottom one in. See that little loop there? So, I'm going to attach this. So, push the bottom one into the hole. There we go. Alright, now. It's not in all the way. Now this is where your long nose ply. Put your hand over it in case it springs back. Because these two are in there, it's just the, the whole bit now. Now this is where the long nose ply. So you need that hook and you need long nose ply. And it goes in. I don't think that was in properly. Oh no, they look the same now. That's in. And that's in, and that's how it was before I took them apart. Double check, everything looks about the same. Of course, we'll remove the tape, slice it off. Well, that's how you do it. They were difficult. So, need these two tools. And the, and the hook set comes in a set like that. Not very expensive, look, $6.99. And it comes in various amounts of uh, different variations of hooks and picks. Right. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment below if you've got another method of doing it without, like me, scratching it all up like this. Uh, leave a comment and obviously if you were to change the brakes, these are all rusty. You know, this, brake, this, is, this spring was all rusty and given up. You need to change the spring as well. Not forgetting, obviously, I'm going to tighten the two, the two um, Allen key kind of bolts at the back of the guide pins. All right, thanks for